Hello everyone, welcome back. We are ready for the cluster fuck of trials. Oh, I mean the cloister of trials. And these are little annoying, annoying puzzles they decide to, decide to throw throughout the game to make the game a little longer, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I have my little cliff notes ready, so I kind of know what to do here. Kind of know. I forget, I haven't played this game in a while, so... First thing we gotta do is examine the glyph on the north wall. So, we gotta examine this thing here. A strange glyph glows. We're still examining it. Now we're touching it. And... Wait for it. Wait for it. Alright. Alright, alright. Now we gotta examine this glyph. Even though it's not in my cliff notes. We examine this glyph. The glyphs. Now we head down the stairs and examine this little pedestal thingy, whatever this is called. You must use a sphere to go any further. Okay, I don't have a sphere. Glyph spheres open the way to the Chamber of Faith. Yep, those are our key spheres of the game. Of the puzzles, I should say. Destruction spheres open the way to the hidden treasure. Those, These are the only ones I care about. It seems that besieged spheres are also necessary. Yeah, they're the <coughs> pathways <coughs> to the rooms and stuff. So, uh, don't worry about it. It's nothing too important because I'll guide you through it. Remove the glyph sphere. You can carry only one sphere at a time. All right, so now we have a glyph sphere in our hand. Then we can only carry one at a time, as he said. So what we do is we place it inside the door here. Yes, insert the glyph sphere in the door. Okay, now, what does it say? Yep, and then take it out of the door once you insert it. Alright, and now you want to drag it and bring... Where is it? You want to put it into this little recess on the wall. Okay, and then the door opens. See, that's what I'm saying. These puzzles can be quite annoying. And there's a destruction sphere in here. We'll leave it here for now because we don't need it yet. Alright, and... <coughs> and here you see a pedal. <coughs> Excuse me. You see a pedal still here, and you see a glyph on the wall. We want to touch the glyph on the wall, or the symbols, whatever. And then this will open this little passageway. Okay, we're making progress. So what we do now is we take the Sage Sphere out of this little hole and we place it into the pedestal. So, like I said, Puzzle Mania. I guess Squaresoft or Square Enix was like, you know what? The game is only like 300 hours long. Let's make it another 100. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. It's not that these are terrible. I don't mind these that much. It's just. It's like. It wasn't really. Ne like, I could have done without these little puzzles in the game, but, eh, whatever. What's done is done, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so now. We take the destruction sphere, and these are the key spheres into every temple. These will unlock treasures. So actually to unlock this treasure, you place it here. These will unlock treasures in every temple, and these treasures are important to getting a very sweet Aeon towards the end of the game. And Aeon, you're not really sure, if you're really not sure what Aeon is, you'll figure out as we go. I think of it as like the summons from other Final Fantasies. We get to summon cool ass creatures to fight for us. <coughs> Alright, so we unlocked our first main treasure of the game, the Rod of Wisdom. And the Rod of Wisdom. Oops. Magic plus 5%, magic plus 3%, and sensor. We'll explain those a little more in depth as we go. Also, um, it's for Yuna, who's not in our group yet. <coughs> Jesus, I got like a freaking cough today, whatever. Alright, anyway, now we want to push the pedestal all the way to the top. There you go. And that's it. Hey, it's gotten into you. Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition, very important. Why? So what about you? Me? 
I'm a guardian. You're a guardian? What the? A guardian? Oh, you're a blitzball player. Damn, you multitask, Waka. <laughs> waka, Waka, Waka! Waka, 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 Waka. People compare Waka. They say when they hear Waka's name, they think of Pac Man. Someone is going on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. I think of Kermit the Frog. Guardians in there now. One of them's got a short fuse. And who knows what the others think. I'm great. Well, it's far. Might as well go all the way. Why? I think I made a mistake coming this far. I'm gonna get my ass chewed out by these guardians. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it. No, it's uh, it's just. Huh. See, I told you she gets mad easy. Who are you, people? What are you? Is that the monster from the Blue Lagoon? Is the summoner all right? <gasps> Who are you? I don't know. Since Toxin. Is the summoner in there? Freaking CG for the win. Oh, damn, she's hot. Is that the summoner? She's freaking out. Oh! Oh! oh. Congratulations. Man, was I surprised. Yeah. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. Nah, nah. She's fucking hot. Holy cow. Holy cow. Waka? Ready. Okay. Okay. Let's see what you got, Yuna. Hmm. You get to see her summon her first Aeon. That is cool. <coughs> wow. <laughs> it's like the Phoenix bird. Good birdie, birdie. Good birdie, birdie. Good bird. Good job, Yuna. That was freaking awesome. 
I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, yeah. I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. Sweet, huh? We'll name him Valifor, that's fine. I remember, that night, we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. Yes, it did, Titus. For everyone. Yep. For me. Alright, guys, and we're gonna stop the episode here because we're all out of time, so we'll see you guys next time as we continue to play Final Fantasy X. Later.